If you're thinking about moving to San Antonio, Texas, I'm giving you 21 things that you need to know before you live here. And by the time we get done, people are gonna thank you local. We get into it right now. Number 21, San Antonio is located in Bear County. Now, it's not Bexar County. Don't go around calling it that. It's Bear County. Bear County. San Antonians, we know it's got an X in it, we just don't say it. Bear County. Number 20. San Antonio is affectionately referred to as Military City USA. And it's mainly because we've got military bases right here in the city. We've got Randolph Air Force Base, Fort Sam Houston, and Lackland Air Force Base. And technically, it's one big military base together, Joint Base San Antonio. We absolutely love our military service members and their families, and they're a big part of what makes San Antonio such an awesome city to live in. Number 19, San Antonio is super pet friendly. There's all kinds of dog parks and just wide open spaces for your fur babies if you're gonna move here to San Antonio. And actually for some of the shopping that you find around in the area too, it's real pet friendly for there as well. I've been out to the shops at La Quintera, downtown on the Riverwalk, and just many other places in the city. And it's not uncommon to see people walking around with little dogs on leashes. And it's just kind of a generally accepted thing here in the city that if you go somewhere, you might see some dogs out. Number 18, in San Antonio, every spring, as we get towards about the latter part of March, getting off into April, it's blue bonnet season here in the area. Blue bonnet flowers just start popping them all over the city. And it's kind of a rite of passage for San Antonians to go out, get yourself a picture in a blue bonnet field. It's a thing that happens every single year. People start posting pictures about it. And it's just something that we like doing. Number 17, Fiesta is a huge deal in San Antonio. Now, it's a festival every single year commemorating the Battle of the Alamo. It's also referred to as the Battle of the Flowers. And, and really the whole city kind of gears up for this thing. Kids get out of school, people get out of work. It's like a week long party downtown in San Antonio and in many other parts of the city. There's like three different parades that happen downtown, also with the Battle of the Flowers and the River Float Parade. A lot of people come out and enjoy themselves outside both downtown and in Breckenridge Park with the Taste of New Orleans. And then we've also got NIOSA, which stands for A Night in Old San Antonio, which is basically a four night block party downtown in the La Vita Marketplace. So it's just a really big deal every single year. People plan their calendars around it and folks come from all across the country to take advantage and have some fun at Fiesta. Number 16, San Antonio is known for having a number of haunted hotels and buildings spread throughout around the city. And you can actually go on some ghost tours to check some of these places out. Full disclosure, I don't fool with ghosts. But if you wanna go check that out, you can definitely do something like that. My family's always trying to get down there and get me to go down and see the ghost tours and it's just not gonna happen. So if y'all end up going, why don't y'all just let me know how it went. Number 15, San Antonians love fireworks shows. Now there's fireworks shows spread around the city. You've got downtown at New Year's and 4th of July. You've also got them at like SeaWorld and Six Flags. The thing that I didn't expect though, was that driving through neighborhoods, it's almost like a war zone for the 4th of July and for New Year's. First year that we moved here, I'm always about spreading some love with some fireworks and getting excited, but you drive around San Antonio and you look on the highway and it's literally a citywide fireworks show. And even though it's not exactly legal to be doing it in city limits, it don't really seem like the police care a whole lot. Number 14, Big Red and Barbacoa are basically a way of life down here. I mean, you can go just about anywhere and get it. There's food trucks that serve it, restaurants that serve it. You can go get it in movie theaters. It's actually such a big deal that there's a Barbacoa and Big Red Festival every single year put on by H-E-B. And if you don't like Big Red and you don't like Barbacoa, just don't tell nobody. Number 13, San Antonians take breakfast tacos real seriously. You can get a breakfast taco from just about anywhere and don't go getting all fancy and trying to add stuff to it if it don't say it come with it because because what you see is what you get, but they're absolutely amazing. You know, as a matter of fact, breakfast tacos almost have their own section in the food pyramid here in San Antonio, Texas. Number 12, San Antonians absolutely love H-E-B. Now, H-E-B is a Texas owned grocery chain. And as far as I'm concerned, it's really the only grocery store in San Antonio. Okay, sure, we have like Walmarts, Targets, Whole Foods. We've even got some Trader Joe's, but really, H-E-B is where it's at. H-E-B! H-E-B! Okay, sorry, couldn't help myself. Usually when somebody asks which H-E-B you shop at, it's probably because they're trying to figure out what area you live in. Either that, or they're secretly trying to figure out how to judge you. Number 11 is that San Antonio 
just kind of really has a small town vibe. And that's odd to say because we're like the number seventh largest city in the United States. The thing about it though is that San Antonio is so far spread out. It's such a large city that different parts of the city kind of have its own geography to it. I mean, you've got urban living closer to the core of the city, downtown, Riverwalk, homes closer together, that kind of thing. But as you go and you expand further out from the middle of the city, you'll find suburban areas. We've got hill country views. Uh, there's even parts of the city where you're in the middle of a large town and yet it's rural with a feel with larger lots, larger home sites, and even some wildlife running around in there. You know, it's not uncommon for there to be like white-tailed deer running around in the middle of San Antonio and some of these areas. So it's just a wide spread out city that has a different feel to it than what I think you find in most areas. Number 10, San Antonio is a really culturally diverse city. We get millions of tourists that come here from all around the world every single year. You add that into the fact that we've got military bases that brings people from all across the country. And then what you end up finding is that San Antonio is really just a large melting pot. If you go to different parts of the city, especially some of the hot spots that a lot of the tourists and everything like to go to, it's not uncommon to be walking around and see folks from all parts of the world, all different nationalities, cultures, and if you're paying attention to what's going around you, there's actually several different languages that are being spoken on a daily basis around San Antonio. So it's just a really good place to come, be around some awesome people, take in the culture, and just really have a nice vibe with everybody around you. Which brings me to point number nine. San Antonio is full of just really nice people. If you go around the city just about anywhere, I mean, you'll kind of notice that right off the bat, especially where if you're coming from some areas where you're not used to that. I can't tell you how many conversations I've had with people who are moving to San Antonio, who have visited before in the past, and the one thing that really stood out to them is that people were just kind of nice and happy. I don't know if it has to do with the fact that we get so many people that visit every single year and we're constantly meeting new people and welcoming folks to the city, uh, but when you get down here, you're gonna notice that folks are just kind of genuinely friendly. Number eight, let's talk about the weather a little bit. Now, a lot of people get to me and they say, Greg, I've heard it's really hot down there in Texas. And you know what? It's absolutely right. Let's just get it on out there. In the middle of the summer, if you're looking between the months of like June to the back half of August, you're looking at 100 degrees almost every single day in the city. Now, it takes a little bit of time to get used to that kind of thing. Some folks always kind of have issues with it. I know for me though, it only took me about a week to 10 days before I climatized and stopped sweating like crazy down here. If you've got kids and you're used to doing back to school shopping, don't go buying winter clothes, okay? It's not uncommon for it to stay in the 90s all the way through November here as you're getting into Thanksgiving. It's just a little bit different if you're coming from really cold parts of the country. We get a lot of snowbirds down here that really enjoy not having to you know, bundle up and deal with all that extra cold weather. But just remember, it does get hot in the summer. Number seven, San Antonians like to spend a lot of time outside. The weather out here is pretty nice for the most part. Even when it's summer and it's 100 plus degrees outside, there's a lot of folks that are out walking around, jogging, spending time in parks. A lot of the restaurants, there's like outdoor patios that you can come and not just sit with the family, but you know, like I mentioned earlier, it's a pretty pet friendly type of thing. If you have a dog that's really chill, willing to lay down and just hang out while you enjoy a meal, I mean, that's an okay accepted thing too. Number six, Let's talk about the traffic patterns a little bit here in San Antonio. We've got access roads here in San Antonio that are actually kind of little mini freeways in themselves. I think the speed limit is like 50 miles an hour on those, but I mean, you see people going like 60 and 70 all the time. Not saying I do that, but the other thing that I had to get used to was this whole like turnaround thing. You know, we've got access roads on either side of the highway. So if you're driving, it's not uncommon for you to like pass where you wanna go on one side of the road and you gotta hit this like little turnaround thing to come back and get to where you're going. That used to just drive me absolutely nuts when I first moved here. I just couldn't figure out why am I backtracking to get to where it's over there. But after being here for a little while, I see what the whole thing is and it makes sense to me. Number five, buying alcohol in San Antonio is a little bit different. I can remember when I first moved here and I was walking through a Walmart looking for the tequila and I'm like up and down the aisle five or six different times. Like, am I tripping or something? I legit had to call my wife and be like, I don't know where the Jose Cuervo's at up in here. Come to find out in San Antonio, you can only buy liquor from liquor stores. And on Sundays, you can't even buy alcohol before noon. One of the positives though, is that after the whole COVID-19 thing happened and businesses were trying to get creative on how to maintain, new legislation was passed so that you can actually get cocktails and drinks to go from restaurants as long as you order food. So 
all the best spots that have some of the best margaritas and cocktails in San Antonio, you can get them to go now. Number four, even though San Antonio is the seventh largest city in the country, we lack some major sports teams. I mean, there's no baseball, there's no football, but we do have the San Antonio Spurs. And if you're moving to San Antonio, you need to understand how the city feels about the Spurs. Go Spurs, go! Sorry, I got a little excited there. San Antonians absolutely love the Spurs. And if you don't love the Spurs, or you're not into basketball, just give it a little bit of time once you get here. I promise you'll probably fall in love with them too. Number three, San Antonio is actually like really nice just for hanging out and staycationing. I mean, there's so much to do here in the city. So many people come here every single year for all the things that are going on that even as locals, it's sometimes hard for us to find a reason to leave San Antonio if we're just wanting to hang out and chill. Number two, taxes in San Antonio are kind of a mixed bag a little bit. In the state of Texas, you know, there's no income tax, which that's nice because every time you go to work, you get paid, you end up with more in your check. We do have some higher property taxes here in the city of San Antonio. Average tax rate in the city is 2.74%, which even though the real estate is really affordable here compared to other parts of the country, when you take all that out and you figure out what your property taxes are gonna be, it's gonna be a large part of your payment. In some cases, upwards of a third of what your mortgage payment's gonna be is gonna be taxes. So it's just kind of something you have to think about when you get here. And the number one thing you need to know about San Antonio, Texas is that San Antonians absolutely love San Antonio. Now we know that millions and millions of people come and visit our city every single year. And that's part of what actually brings people here full time to wanna to move here. And as a realtor, I've seen people that I've talked with who lived in San Antonio at one time or another, whether they moved here for work or they were stationed here with the military, they've ended up moving away, living life elsewhere, and they've made the decision to wanna to come back home to San Antonio. And I just love the opportunity to help other people get to move here and do the same. My team and I, we're getting calls almost every single day from folks just like you who are looking into San Antonio, Texas, and we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about moving or relocating anywhere in the San Antonio area, then give us a call, shoot as a text, send us an email, however you want to get a hold of us, we've got your back when moving to San Antonio, Texas.